coming in a whole semi. Yeah. Looks like the go karts here. Hey, let's go look at the uh, go kart that came. So there she is, yeah, the go-kart. It's a one-person one, the SK100. Just got delivered here not too long ago. All right, should we take it apart? Yeah. yeah. I will open it. All right. All right, oh there she gosh. is, look at that. All right, so it looks like we got some assembly to do. So you got a wheel there, there's a box. Oh, look at that wheel. Nice. All right, let's get it out of this metal crate here and then uh, start putting it together. All right, so we got everything unboxed here. So now should we just start putting it all together? Yeah. yeah. You guys gonna help? Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll see how this goes. There's a big pile of garbage, but we got it together. It took us about, you know, half hour or so. Started using the tools they gave us, but it's easier just to use your own tools. But yeah, everything went together. All the bolts and stuff were there. I thought it would come with engine oil, but it didn't come with engine oil. So I think it took 10W30. Uh, so we put engine, uh, put oil in there, put gas in there. I thought it said something about these side pieces right here. I didn't see any side pieces in there, but that's no big deal. Think you can try to start this thing? Yeah. yeah. All right, from what I was reading, you gotta turn it on. George, can you turn it on? Turn it on, and then you gotta turn the gas on. There's a little switch right there, so the gas is on. And then, I don't know, I wonder, do you think we are gonna choke it? Yeah. Let's try, I mean, here's a, here's this choke, and then there's the puller, so give her a couple pulls. Maybe try the choke off. Oh, there you go. Nice. Got her running. Yeah. Let's go test it out in the backyard. about two laps into our ride and the chain already came off and here's the chain it's like it's all messed up we'll have to work on getting this chain apart back on here so all right round two let's hopefully it'll stay together now hey should we go uh, try the dirt road should we go try the dirt road?
wrap it up. You guys like the Coleman? Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty pretty nice machine, but there's some definitely some pluses and minuses we found. Uh, minus, it is pretty loud. It's hard to talk when you're riding it, right, guys? Yeah. Um, it is a little cheaply made. You can tell the parts are not top quality. I'm kind of used to working in Hondas and Yamahas. They're definitely not comparable to this thing. Uh, there is no suspension, so it's really bumpy when you're driving on grass and stuff. It works good on, like, asphalt, right? Yeah. yeah. So he added that butt pad right there. Um, you know, is it better than a four-wheeler? No. Is it better than your dirt bike? No. You know, but it is the go-kart. It's, it's kind of in its own class. So it's What they really like about it is it has a steering wheel, so they get a kick out of driving it around. It's kind of like a mini car, right? Yeah. yeah. That's kind of nice. Um, I know the chain, chain did fall off, but I did realize I let the kids put this rear wheel on and they forgot to put the spacer on so we added the spacer and we haven't had any problems since right so it's been a couple weeks and it's been driving around good um uh, the, on the plus side the, the pull starts really easy my eight-year-old can pull it himself my five-year-old can't quite do it yet but he's getting close um and also it has an adjustable seat which is really nice so they they both can fit in here real well i kind of fit in there not really but <laughs> um and the cost it's what seven hundred dollars brand new which it's not bad for a brand new machine um so what what do you guys think two thumbs up for this thing yeah all righty thanks for watching